Good day everybody, we got a very interesting question. We are expected to integrate integral dx over x to the power of 6 positive 1. So foremost what I wish to do is, I would like to rewrite this as integral dx over x raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of 3 positive 1. Now this is of the form a cubed positive b cubed which is nothing but a positive b times a squared negative a b positive b squared so x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 3 positive 1 cubed is nothing but x squared positive 1 times in place of a you got x squared that has to be raised to the power of 2 in place of a you got x squared b is 1 b is 1 so this is going to be x squared positive 1 times x to the power of 4 negative x squared positive 1 so I need to substitute this in place of x to the power of 6 positive 1 so this is equal to integral dx divided by x to the power of 6 positive 1 is rewritten as dx over x squared positive 1 times x to the power of 4 negative x squared positive 1. I wish to have an x squared positive 1 there so I will add an x squared and then I will have to remove the x squared. You don't have to add a 1 on remove 1 because 1 is already there. So all I need to do is just add an x squared and remove an x squared. So times the dx divided by x squared positive 1 times x to the power of 4 negative x squared positive 1. So now what I wish to do, I would like to club these two terms and rewrite it as x squared positive 1 divided by x squared positive 1 times x to the power of 4 negative x squared positive 1 times dx negative x to the power of 2 divided by x squared positive 1 times x to the power of 4 negative x squared positive 1 times uh, dx. Now this and this gets cancelled. So this is equal to integral. Now I got dx over x to the power of 4 negative x squared positive 1 negative x to the power of 2 divided by. Now this entire term is nothing but x to the power of 6 positive 1, right? So I can rewrite this term as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 positive 1. It's same x to the power of 6 positive 1. Uh, just for sake of convenience. So uh, this is going to be x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 positive 1 times the dx. To integrate it's very simple. That's the reason I have done that. Now what I wish to do is I would like to have a x squared positive 1 term in the numerator followed by a negative sign and I am going to have a x squared negative 1. Now you might be asking why am I doing this? This is done to handle this denominator x to the power of 4 negative x squared positive 1. Now of course x squared and negative x squared gets cancelled but 1 added with negative or negative 1 will give me a 2 there. So what I wish to do is I would have to place that 2 there. It's very important. Don't forget that. Divided by x to the power of 4 negative x squared positive 1. This is easy to integrate. Let me rewrite it. x squared divided by x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 positive 1 times the dx. Now what I wish to do I would like to split the term. So there's going to be 1 over 2. You can just keep that 1 over 2 out. And this can be written as x squared positive 1 times the dx divided by x to the power of 4 negative x squared positive 1 followed by negative x to the power of 2 negative 1 times the dx divided by x to the power of 4 negative x squared positive 1 negative you just complete the parenthesis this stays outside so x to the power of 2 negative x, uh, divided by x to the power of 3 ne uh, raised to the power of 2 positive 1 times the dx now this can be again rewritten. I want to take uh, x squared out. So I will have 1 positive 1 over x squared times dx divided by. I want to take x squared out. So this is going to be x squared of x squared negative 1 positive 1 over x squared. So this is the integral sign. And uh, similarly I want to take x squared out you get 1 negative 1 over x squared times the dx divided by I take x squared out x to the power of 2 negative 1 positive 1 over x squared followed by negative x to the power of 2 divided by x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 positive 1 this is what I've got now what I wish to do is I would like to consider this term first of course I can cancel these x squared x squared out so I will first consider this then I will put in the values so foremost what I wish to do is I will consider this quantity 1 positive 1 over x squared times the dx divided by x squared negative 1 positive 1 over x squared now what I wish to do is I would like to rewrite the denominator as a perfect square 
So I got x squared negative 1, positive 1 over x squared. Is it okay if I can write this as x negative 1 over x raised to the power of 2? When I expand, I get x squared, first term, negative 2 times x times 1 over x, that's going to be negative 2, but I need to only negative 1, so I add a positive 1 there, negative 1 is handled, and when I square it, I get 1 over x squared, right, perfect. So this is the representation I will be utilizing. Now, this is equal to integral 1 positive 1 over x squared times dx divided by x negative 1 over x raised to the power of 2, positive 1. Now, I will make the substitution. Let x negative 1 over x be equal to some u. If you differentiate, you get 1 negative of negative positive 1 over x squared times dx is equal to du. So, if you had to substitute there, in place of this, you have du divided by, in place of this, you have u squared positive 1. So, this is nothing but tan inverse of u, which is nothing but tan inverse of my u is x negative 1 over x, right? Of course, it's arbitrary constant c. So, this is what you've got. Now, this is for this, but we need to handle this. So, I need to go to a new page. Let me just go to this page here. So, now consider, let me just consider the second term. The second term is integral 1 negative 1 over x squared divided by x squared negative 1 positive 1 over x squared times uh, dx. Now let me rewrite x squared negative 1 positive 1 over x squared. Now I need to get 1 negative 1 over x squared. So for that is only possible if I got x positive 1 over x raised to the power of 2. I expand it I get x squared. I expand this I get 1 over x squared. And then I need to get uh, negative 1, but this would give me a positive 2, so place a negative 3 there. The reason is I want to handle this numerator term, right? So this is equal to integral 1 negative 1 over x squared times dx divided by x positive 1 over x raised to the power of 2 negative root of 3. Now let me take uh, x positive 1 over x to be equal to some p. When I differentiate, I get 1, negative 1 over x squared times uh, dx is equal to dp. So, this is equal to dp divided by p squared negative. This is actually root of 3 squared, right? It's 3 there. So, the root of 3 squared. So, this is going to be root of 3 squared. Now, this is actually, we know a formula. We know that. Let me write that formula. Integral dx divided by x squared negative a squared is nothing but 1 over 2a log of x negative a divided by x positive a plus arbitrary constant c. So, if I were to utilize this formula here, this is going to be 1 over 2 times of root of 3 log of p negative root of 3 divided by p positive root of 3. Now, this is equal to 1 over 2 times root 3 log of my p is x positive 1 over x negative root 3 divided by x positive 1 over x positive root 3. So, this is what the term is. Now, there is one more thing we need to do. Consider the final term. Consider integral x to the power of 2 dx divided by x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 positive 1. So, let me take x power 3 to be equal to some m. So, 3 times x squared dx is equal to dm. So, x squared dx is equal to dm over 3. So, substitute there. This is going to be 1 over 3 times dm divided by m squared positive 1. This is nothing but 1 over 3 tan inverse of m, which is nothing but 1 over 3 tan inverse of my m is cubed, x cubed. So, substitute that. So, now we need to utilize this. We need to utilize this. And then we also need to utilize the previous result. So, what are we going to do? So, this is equal to 1 over 2 times, the first quantity is going to be tan inverse of x negative 1 over x. I've already shown you how to get that, followed by a negative sign. And uh, this is the next quantity, 1 over 2 times root 3, ln of x positive 1 over x, negative root 3, divided by x positive 1 over x, positive root 3, second quantity. So, this is all under 1 over 2. Right, followed by the last quantity, negative this one, 1 over 3 
tan inverse of x cubed and since it's indefinite integral you add an arbitrary constant c so this is the final solution everybody i hope you understood this question enjoy your night